Now we are still sitting with this beautiful male leopard. It's a bit tricky to see him where we parked at the moment, but we will get a better position of him. His face is just directly behind that branch at the moment, so I can't move any further. But look at that, he's lifted his head for us. Wonderful to see this big male. Oh, wow, there we go. Let's see if he decides to. Oh, he may also just change positions and lie down again. Let's see. Oh, that's actually a great view of him. Now, this is the first time I've seen this leopard, so I'm very excited too. I haven't seen um, this leopard's known as Mvula. I haven't seen Mvula before. I don't think so. Now the kill is actually, we can see it glistening in the sun, just to the right. He's moving straight towards it now. Now that's a porcupine that he killed last night. That's amazing. I mean, it's not an easy task to kill a porcupine. The largest rodent in Africa. Oh, there you can see the quills. Oh, fantastic. Let's see where he moves it to. He's probably just going to move it further into the shade there. <laughs> this is amazing. This is such a great sighting. So the schools have left us now. Oh, but you can see again, I've been chatting um, or chatting to the schools about um, the camouflage and that. And you can see how this leopard disappears in the long grass at the moment. But we'll sit here patiently and we'll see what he gets up to. To be honest, I was just thinking, and I'm sure some of you might be thinking too, would he hoist it into a tree? Now, it's quite a small kill, so there might not be a need to hoist it into a tree. It's also, he's got, um, he's got a nice shady area here, so it's well hidden. So chances of him being harassed by other animals are probably unlikely. Um, I doubt the scent will travel too far from here. But, um, but if he needs to, he has got a nice marula over here just the, behind me, and he can hoist it in there. Oh, isn't this wonderful? A great little start to the show. Very lucky that we've got uh, got this leopard that's hung around here today. <laughs> now, <clears throat> sorry. Now, Morgan, you are you eight years old. Hello, Morgan. You asked, how does the leopard catch? something like a porcupine without getting hurt by the quills. Well, Morgan, the, um, the leopards are very, very fast and agile, which means they, they're quick and they can move very, very quickly when they are trying to hunt something like a, a snake or a porcupine. I mean, a snake is very fast and can strike, but, um, but a porcupine with those sharp quills, the leopard will try its best to get to the head. The head of the porcupine isn't well protected. Let me see if I can find you a picture of one. So I'll show you where the leopard would try um, try to catch the porcupine or how it would try to catch the porcupine. Um, so the, the head or the belly, soft areas that are exposed. And let me show you. There we go. My trusty mammal book. Have a look here. There we go, Morgan. You see that? So the head, you can see, is not protected by the quills. They're the sharp quills around there and on the back, mainly on the back. Now, you can see the head is exposed and underneath very exposed. So that leopard will try its best to move very quickly, flip the porcupine and try to get to the head. And that way it can kill it. As long as, as it stays away from these quills, it, uh, it won't necessarily get hurt. However, I have seen um, leopards with, with serious quill injuries, quills sticking in, not just leopards, lions too porcupines sticking their quills into these predators and sometimes it can cause some bad infections but uh, it looks like Mvula I think he's quite an experienced leopard so chances of him getting hurt or injured by this porcupine probably unlikely he knows what to do He's enjoying some of that at the moment, all that meat. See, and a lot of people think that the porcupines shoot their quills out if they are in danger or if they feel threatened, and that is not true. So they don't shoot the quills at all. 
what they do is they contract muscles in their in their in the skin, causes the quills to ra uh, raise up, and they'll run backwards into the prey. So whatever's potentially trying to hunt them or harm them, they just run backwards. They reverse into the prey, and then those quills will stick out, and they actually um, come out of the skin of the porcupine very very easily. Now, James, you were asking if the quills stay around longer than what the bones do. Now, James, from what I've seen, I mean, porcupine quills, if you keep them, um, they, they, they basically don't perish. They don't fall apart or break or anything like that. So you can keep porcupine quills for a number of, or for quite a long time. So probably longer than, than bones. Hang on, he's moving it again. Um, so James, yeah, I, I suppose the, the quills would probably hang around a little bit longer than the, than the bones and also I don't know, I haven't ever seen animals eating the quills, but animals will eat the bone. However, James, in saying that, you know, you do get, you do get bones, I mean certain bones and that, especially larger bones that will stay around for a very long time until they eventually get broken down um, but the quills you know a lot of the lodges and that in these areas if they find quills on the ground they'll collect them it's beautiful uh, decorative pieces that, that you can put on tables or around the lodges so a lot of people do try to collect the porcupine quills oh, that's such a nice view of him now, it is so special to see a leopard. Now, actually, one of our friends, one of our Safari Live friends, is watching in another part of the world that they find leopards, all the way in Sri Lanka. And Avi Fonseca, it is his birthday today, and he's a guide too, so he finds leopards in another part of the world. Happy birthday, Avi. Hope you're having a great day from all of us at Safari Live. And Avi and his team were out here recently. They came and visited us too. But uh, yeah, they track leopards and bears and all sorts of wildlife in Sri Lanka. Uh, happy birthday, old boy. <laughs> I hope, uh, hope he has, he's having a great day. Uh, well, I'm definitely having a great afternoon. What a nice start. To be able to sit with a big male leopard like this is very, very special. Ah, no. Finally, we've got some other guides out, and my friend Scott is out in the Mara at the moment. He's probably on a vehicle. Let's go say hi to Scott. Hi, 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 Sc